Good morning. It's 9.05 in the morning on September 9th. I can't believe it's 9.09. Uh, we're going home next week. I can't believe it. Gonna miss Austin, but kind of ready to get home. Also feeling so delicate still and just like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna just operate my daily life? You know, here I've been spoiled and just being able to rest and having what I want to eat when I want to eat it and getting to do a puzzle and Legos and all these fun things that I don't normally get to do because I'm an adult who has to work and do things like that. But either way, um, slept okay, slept from about 10 to three and then was just up, but I just took it easy, did hand exercises, worked on a puzzle and just laid down uh, and really kept hydrated. Either way, um, the weather's actually down in the 70s, so Mom and I are gonna go to the Lady Bird Lake Trail. I'm gonna plop down, either listen to music or read a book, and she's gonna get her walk in because exercise is important, and because she's been caring for me, she has been able to care for herself. So this is how we're gonna let Mom have some mom time. So Mom's gonna get her walk, and I'm gonna sit and just chill out a little bit, and then we're gonna come home and rest for the rest of the day. We are here right across from Oracle where I just got a new job. Just kidding, I wish. No. Mom and I are, I'm gonna walk just to where I'm gonna sit and read a little bit. And then she is going to get her walk in. Lady Bird Lake is just right there. I love Austin, it's beautiful. I don't wanna leave on Thursday. Hi friends, we're out here at uh, Lady Bird Lake. It's so beautiful. It's only in like the mid 70s, so we came out. Uh, while it's still a little cool. I'm just gonna read here while my mom goes and um, does her walk. So they have this gorgeous lake where people paddle and uh, walk. You wanna come over here? And so downtown Austin, and then there's just this beautiful boardwalk all along. Can you get that? Here, I got you. Got her there, yep. And so they got that boardwalk and then downtown Austin. So I'm gonna sit and read and then finally let mom go and she can stop playing photographer. All right, mom, you go enjoy yourself. My old arms and always felt so pretty And no one was selling postcards from the city I've been walking downtown every day What's up? It's about 10.20 Mom enjoyed her walk, and I enjoyed my breezy, listening to music, chill out, and just enjoy the beautiful sun, the air, and watching people having fun on their boards, and the beautiful view of downtown back there. That was a great little alcove we stumbled upon. Either way, um, that was a nice amount of activity. Gets me out, but also not doing too much. So we're going to go back and just relax now. What a beautiful day in Austin. We are stopping by Goodwill to see if we can get a cane, because... My hips hurt from not being able to uh, stand upright and I'm very weak and I'm afraid when I'm more mobile at home and then going through the airport and just getting around, um, it just says kind of stay away from me because the other day we were in another Goodwill and a child ran straight at me and almost took me out and anything below the belt, you're going to kill my dick and that ain't right because I've waited a long time for this. All right, mama. What's up? It's about 3.53. Um, it must be, what's the date, the 9th? Uh, we are both so tuckered out. I've slept only seven or eight hours since surgery. I cannot sleep. They put me on Tylenol 4, like I've said. Um, Painkillers make some people wired, and I'm one of those people. I have been resting. We thought maybe we'd get out this morning a little bit. It was only 75 degrees, and if you know Texas, that is, that's cool. So we went out, just about 30 minutes. I read while she walked, and I just had a nice breeze. I had water with me. I was super comfortable. It was great. Um, thought that would tuck me out a bit. No. I mean, I've been laying down. I lay here all day. We've been watching some television, but now we're going to Torchy's Tacos, and um, I hear nothing but good things, so I'm stoked. So. Either way, both of us were feeling just kind of down. Mom's tired. I was like, hey, you've been taking care of me for three weeks. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go be the wild, go pick up our order and then have a really quiet Friday night. So yeah, and I can't wait to get my teeth fixed. I'm so self-conscious about it, but whatever. All right, hope you guys are having a happy and safe start to your weekend. You guys, it's 5.10, we had our torchies. It was amazing that the um, jalapeno kicked my mom's ass. And now we're doing a Friday night puzzle. Try not to get too wild.
Good evening, everyone. It's 8.47 in the evening on September 9th. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a puzzle. It's super relaxing. It's really nice to be off my phone. My phone has been a godsend, uh, my connection to the world. But, you know, it's nice to disconnect, put it down, and just sit here and be with my hands. Um, it was also nice because my mom and I did this together. We had a wild Friday, right? And we uh, got some Torchy's tacos awesome Austin taco bar and then um we came back and we did this puzzle together for a while it was so fun I said you know mom I don't think we've done a puzzle together since 1993 and it's true 1993 is when we moved to Florida and we just one of the things we did while we were getting our house ready was a puzzle together so either way um I've had a very long day a good day beautiful day but just have only been able to sleep seven or eight hours since my procedure I uh, was in a lot of pain in my leg, but because of that, um, you know, these painkillers are just hyping me up and my body absolutely needs sleep. So I decided to stop taking them. I'm using some cannabis medicine as an alternative and just really hoping for some sleep tonight because tomorrow dun, 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 are the voiding trials. Um, this is something that just... <laughs> I've waited 38 years to do, you know, myself. I've used an STP for 17 years, so no stranger to peeing, standing up, urinals, men's bathrooms, whatever. But um, to finally be able to do it myself hits me hard. So uh, I hope to be able to get some good sleep. And then they say go to bed, you know, drink a good amount of water so you wake up with a full bladder and let it rip. So um, super grateful, super thankful, no matter what happens. Um, you know, I hope it's coming out of my phallus. Hope it doesn't come out of my balls or wherever else or along any of the other incisions that were made. But um, <laughs> I just, this whole experience has been surreal to me. It's been amazing. It's been a blessing. Um, I, I can't believe I'm going home next week. I still feel so delicate, so tender, so like not ready to be in the world. Uh, here in Austin, my only job is to heal. And I, I eat what I want when I want and I, you know, I'm on the schedule with meds and, you know, I'm not working right now. So I really have no responsibility except to myself and my body to heal. And so when I go back, you know, I have to start working again and just being a person who has to take care of things. And, you know, it's just going to be different easing back into that because unlike chest surgery, this truly, I'm only like 60% energy. So I know I seem peppy in videos and stuff, but then... I'm laying down or I only have 10 to 15 minutes of energy and then I have to lay down. So it's going to be interesting. So super excited, super emotional, also super common zen, super happy just with where I am, with the people in my life, the people reaching out to me. I had hoped when this dysphoria and anxiety about peeing every two hours comes up, you know, was finally gone, that I would be able to concentrate on other things. And today I actually... Um, like apply to a program at a college to just do like a technical certificate in like database management. I want to get into tech. I've always skirted around the edges of it and um, I've been thinking about it for a while and I thought, you know, I want to go back to school. I want to do this thing. And then for a while I kind of downed on myself like, no, you're too old. You're almost 40. Then I thought, what would you tell any, any other person of any age who wanted to go back to school? Fucking do it. So, um, yeah, if all that goes according to plan, I'll start in the spring. I'm just super excited to learn new things and have a little school under my belt and um, thinking about turning this on to a documentary. I wish I had actually planned this better because I never planned to film any of this. But uh, I was in touch uh, with my film professor from college and uh, she's been watching these updates and she was like, yes, you, you need to make this film and um, I will get you some showings. So thank you, Jillian. Um, I would love to be able to start making films or making digital media and um, maybe going to colleges or LGBT centers and talking about it and educating and answering questions about fallow or the trans experience or, you know. So I'm going to go lay down a little bit more. Also, a little side note, I'm thinking about maybe doing a Zoom session for people who are interested in fallow. I've had a lot of people ask just, how do I get the ball rolling? Where do I start? What do I have to do? And there's a lot. It took a whole year of my life to get this together. And between the hair removal, all the different letters I had to write, uh, not that I had to write, that I had to get written for the surgery, scheduling, all the phone calls, the insurance. Um, and so it has been 
a long road. And so, uh, you know, I would love to help people get there too. So, um, gonna sign off for now. Sorry for being long-winded. Thanks for listening. Cross your fingers for tomorrow morning.